Hello, everybody. My name is Matt Kunzler. I work with Henry Schein Dental. I'm a digital workflow specialist, and today's video is going to be highlighting the TRIOS 4 intraoral scanner. Today, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily we can scan an upper arch, a lower arch, and then correlate the bite. You can do this for many different indications in your practice, but again, today, we just want to highlight how easy it is to do and how accurate. So with that, we'll get started. I'm going to start with the lower, as the software indicates that's where we start. I'm going to do the occlusal surface, the lingual surface, and then the buccal surface. One of the things you'll notice as I scan is I try to have my hands work together. Proper retraction of the cheek is imperative to get a fast, accurate scan. One of the other things I'm doing right now is I'm trying to hide my retraction finger from the scanner itself, from the camera. That can sometimes interfere and cause the scanner to slow down. One of the other parts to remember is we really need to make sure that we complete the incisal ledge, the whole occlusal surface, before we roll too far buckle and lingual. One other thing you may notice is that once I've started my scan, while there are some rules in play as to how the scan pass should go, we really can jump around a little bit. Whatever is most convenient for you and for the patient. We want to keep in mind that patient comfort is of the utmost importance. And I'm going to do one more pass on the buckle surface. Some of the innovations in this scanner that are very convenient and easy is now I need to identify if I'm missing any parts of the scan. By simply clicking the button of the scanner and pointing it up, I can now rotate around using the scanner as kind of a joystick. When you're happy with the scan, all you have to do is click one more time and then we can move on. So I'm going to click and move to the next set. Now we're going to scan the upper arch. I'm going to use the scanner tip, turn it upside down, so that I can see, keep my same grip of the scanner. On the upper arch, I'm going to take my second pass on the occlusal surface, where on the lower arch, I did the lingual first. Again, those are recommendations by the manufacturer of the most efficient way to scan. You'll notice I'm taking a fourth pass at the scanner. I know there's a lot of people who scan a lot faster than I do. But one of the things I try and do is make sure that it's complete when I'm all done. So I take a little bit more time just to make sure I don't have to go back in unless it's necessary. Again, I'm going to take that same approach. I'm going to click up. And we're going to take a look and see if I'm missing any data anywhere. And it looks like the lingual side is pretty good. For some reason, I am just missing a little bit on that facial side. So I'll, to add more information, it's as simple as clicking the scanner back on and going back in to capture that. Start in that known area. Take a nice, steep roll right here.
and then fill in the data points that we're missing. Just that simple. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to move on to correlating the byte. Again, click of the button. This time I'm going to point to the right, and we're going to go into the byte section. We're going to take two bytes on this patient, one on the right side, one on the left side, to make sure it's as accurate as it can be. So sometimes this happens with the software. Um, I can't always tell you why, but right now it didn't automatically pin the byte. So all I have to do is move it into so it's looking the same direction as my byte scan. Two clicks, and just like that, I fixed the byte. I don't have to spend time or rescan. I knew I had enough information, so I just went back in and, and did it manually. Okay, without touching the keyboard again, I'm going to go ahead and turn the scanner back on in just one second. And we're going to start that second byte. Oops, one byte. And actually, I made a big mistake there. What I needed to do was not turn the scanner on. I needed to have her open, then retract the cheek, and then bite. What had happened was it started scanning, and you can see how fast it correlated the byte that time. It had started scanning, and it had caught a piece of the tongue, so it couldn't continue scanning the bite. All I had to do was clear the scan and move on. None of these things are anything that are, are a big deal. Uh, just need to be trained so that you know how to get past them quickly and efficiently. All right, so there we go. Upper, lower, and bite. We did that in just a few minutes. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it's uh, something that um, you can refer back to if you have a TRIOS for maybe a little additional training. If you don't have a TRIOS and would like to speak more about it, please uh, reach out to your local Henry Schein representative, or you can find my information at the end of this video. I'd be happy to talk to you anytime.